Yeah, Andrew, 213,000 ADP payrolls saying that the private sector in the month of January grew by 213,000. That's above the estimate of 183,000 that the street had. Actually, second time in a row, or one of many months, actually, where the ADP has been above where the street was. And uh, they revised down just a little bit that December number they have, which wasn't right because the government was actually, the government number was actually stronger, but it did point you in the right direction. Goods doing quite well, 68,000. Services, 145,000. And there's the non-farm payroll for uh, Friday, uh, 170,000. We'll see if the street takes a cue from ADP uh, and, and, and revises upward. Uh, pretty consistent across the board in terms of the size of businesses that are adding jobs, 63, 84, and 66,000 for small, medium, and large. And good job growth across sectors, 38, 35, 33, education, construction, manufacturing, trade and transport just a little bit light at 13,000, not quite sure what's going on there, but really no effect here of the uh, government shutdown showing up at least in these numbers. Maybe they would have been stronger if not for it. Let's bring in Mark Zandi, who puts these numbers together with Moody's.com. He does it for ADP. Mark, um, let's do this now. Let's just admit that the economics community has this wrong, that there is some bottomless supply of labor that can come into the market and we can keep doing 200,000 rather than a run rate of 100,000. The real run rate of the economy is 200,000. Let's go, Mark. Let's make some news here and let's change the theory. <laughs> well, you know, not likely, Steve, you know, uh, at, because we've had declining unemployment. I mean, at this pace of job Barely. growth. Barely. Mark, I just was looking it up. Mark, you're, you're between 3.8 yeah. and 3.9, and you've done 200,000 yeah. almost every month of the year, 2018. It's got, the theory has to be wrong here, Mark. No, no. The arithmetic works exactly right. 200K on average, 100K growth in labor force. And the unemployment rate has been ticking down pretty consistently, not month to month, because there's a lot of volatility in the data. But look over the past year, over the past two years, over the past five years, unemployment is steadily falling, consistent with the idea that in, in, the, in the numbers that uh, labor force growth is about 100K per annum. So at 200K, unemployment, underemployment will continue to decline. And at some point, yeah, we'll run out of those bodies. And the other piece of evidence uh, that is suggestive of this is wage growth is accelerating. You know, we were debating this a year or two ago, but there's no debate now. Wage growth is firmly above 3% and, and headed north. So all the, all the numbers uh, hang together for me. All right, so, so you're no, going you're gonna, you're gonna, to stick yeah. to this outmoded, outdated, yeah. antiquated, <laughs> antediluvian theory here know, that somehow we're going to run out of yeah. workers in America, but we never do. We never no, do, no, we, 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 well, Not until this point. I mean, there is a lot of folks that stepped out of the workforce during the tough times, and there's a lot of room to maneuver here. And, and, and people are taking second jobs, and things are, you know, the economy is adjusting. But uh, let's, let's make a bet, Steve, because uh, I made this bet with the young guys here in my, in, in my shop here. I'm always who are waiting debating for me about a good this as bet. Well. Yeah. A year from now, job growth will be closer to 100K than 200K.